Hey guys, you know who it is. It's Nate with Cameron Nate YT. Uh, we haven't, I haven't really kept up on the channel lately, but I've been pretty freaking busy with work and everything. So uh, I just thought I'd give you guys a quick update. I ended up uh, getting into an altercation tonight apparently because of some cab driver's car overheating and his cab fare freaked out on everyone. So. Yeah, to say the least, the guy, the transgender person, I've got no, I've got no issues if you're transgender, male or female, I'm not sexist or anything like that, but, that's my disclaimer, but, the male or female, whoever it was, that was the cab fare, had threatened to taser the cab driver and everything, and so, I put myself in, har myself in harm's way to make sure that he didn't get tasered and so on and so forth and to keep myself safe and my sister safe and I was trying to defuse the situation well yeah there some dumb situation happened with the officer after the whole scene was done and everything and apparently I didn't put something in my report that I wasn't aware of until after I got home so but my sister ended up becoming involved just by being there with me, and it's not like I rolled into an argument between the two. You know, I actually rolled in, walking by, because the gentleman that was driving the cab, uh, his engine started to overheat, and I decided to help him with his overheating engine, and that's how I ended up getting involved, because the cab fare was getting aggressive with the cab driver. But, yeah... The officer was, my mom wanted to press charges, but, uh, against the suspect, but the officer that I ended up contacting about the whole case information so my mom could press charges on the cab fare was just like, you didn't put anything in your report stating that the suspect, uh, got violent or aggressive with your younger sister, and then he start. I go, I went on to say, yeah, but he was... He or she was right there within probably close to arm's reach of my sister, and he just wasn't listening. He's like, why would you put her in that situation, a teenage girl? And I'm like, you think I walked into the situation like that? Like, come on. I have respect for every single officer out there. And I have respect for every single job that they do. I have respect for the fact that you guys put your your butts in harm's way, you know, I got no problem with that, I got no problem with officers in general, but when you're an officer, and you're sitting there saying that a, a teenage girl that managed to be in the situation just by being an innocent bystander was there, um, and has seizure, you know, could have a seizure at any given moment, you know, to have that person get out, like, I mean, when I'm on the phone with the dispatcher, paying attention to an engine that's overheated, the cab driver, my younger sister, and the suspect, you know, like, it's not possible for someone to multitask four things at the same time, or technically that's five things, you know, and on top of that, I gotta make sure I'm responding to the dispatcher, and... You know, at some point, if I hadn't react that fast, the suspect could have literally got their hands on my sister. If I hadn't have looked over when I did because I was busy with everything else, you know, um, the, the suspect could have had their hands on my on my sister. And this is like so stupid that the officers pulling this crap on me. I have respect for all the officers. I have respect for everything that they do. And I'm a very respectful person. You know, just because you work the law doesn't mean you are the law. If I wanted case numbers and everything, I should get my case numbers and be on my way. That's what I attempted to get from the officer, and then he went into this whole dispute with me. And this is not right. This is not okay. So, you know, and it's got everyone stirred up. And I've got work at 4 in the freaking morning, and it's 11.31 at night. I didn't plan on posting this, you know, it's not like I planned on walking into an altercation. It's not like they were having an altercation when fucking, when I walked over there. 
If they had been, I would have told my sister to go to the freaking car. You know, it's not like I put her in harm's way on fucking purpose. You know, I'm the only one there to defuse the situation, keep the taxi driver from getting tasered, keep my sister from getting hurt, keep me from getting hurt, and keep the suspect calmed down long enough to get the officers there. And meanwhile, you got innocent bystanders walking by, you know? Who's to say that that suspect isn't going to go ape shit on that, on some innocent bystander walking by? You're in a freaking parking lot at Walmart. You know? Like, how, how stupid can an officer get? Like, I didn't falsify my report. And he's like, is there something you didn't put into your report? And it's like, not something that's, like, not there, you know? Like... If I'd miss them, I'm sorry. I just got done working fucking 10 hours and been up since 4 in the damn morning on running on 3 hours of sleep. I understand that I can be charged, you know, with criminal bullcrap for falsifying report, but everything that's in there is the freaking truth. It's like a general rundown, you know? Yeah, in the report I stated that I got between the suspect and my sister, but that was barely in the nick of time. Who's to say that suspect wasn't after grabbing my sister to make some sort of threat? The suspect had the cab driver's phone as a collateral damage over 10 bucks. And it's like, okay, well, this is ridiculous, you know? Like, it's not like I put my sister in harm's way for no fucking reason. Like, I didn't even put her in harm's way. I told her to go to the car, and that's when officers arrived. You know, like, if I tell... I, I told her to go to the freaking car. I gave her the damn car key. That's when officers arrived. And by that time, the situation just kept on escalating. And I told her to go to the freaking car. And you have this officer running up, and my sister's freaking over there shaking. And because she doesn't know what the hell to do. She's only 15. You know, this is... This is a bunch of bullshit, you know, but you guys can like, share, subscribe. I'm going to end this here now before I get into too much details and get charged with some stupid fucking misdemeanor or something. I don't know. So many stupid little laws out there that not everyone knows about that I that anyone can get charged with for no fucking reason, you know, but... I just wanted to uh, give a shout out to all my mine and Cameron supporters out there. I know Cameron needed to take a break from the YouTube channel, but you guys are still his and my supporters and subscribers. I also want to give a shout out to all the uh, officers out there that are actually doing their jobs and stuff like that. Um, I appreciate everything everyone does. Um, Officer Lawrence and Officer Sims, you guys did great tonight defusing the situation. Unfortunately, you and me, Officer Lawrence, cannot come to an agreement. Sorry that it has to be that way, but you know, you're you're an officer and I'm a I'm a good Samaritan, you know, I stop and I help people. I don't freaking stop and defuse situations, you know. There's nothing I can do if I'm defusing a situation with like several people around me, you know, there's not much I can do, unfortunately. But put myself in harm's way doing your guys' job by being a good Samaritan. You know, I mean... Honestly, I stop and help every single person that I can, when I can. As long as I've got time. And I've got time to waste sometimes, and so I'll stop. Unfortunately, that's what the situation was tonight. And it just kept on escalating. So an officer got there, then it escalated, and then it started to de-escalate. Finally, after like... 30 to 45 minutes and it just got so stupid and out of hand but sorry we can't come to an agreement I hope the Utah um I hope the Utah Police Department gets stuff figured out for all this um for everything that happened tonight yeah to say the least the person didn't actually verbally assault me or verbally aggress towards me but I got yelled at multiple times while on the phone with the dispatcher like everything's recorded with the police department so I mean I'm over here dealing with the fucking overheating engine a cab driver that could be tased at any second a suspect in the back of the cab threatening to tase my younger sister sitting off on the sideline 
not in harm's way at any given point until the suspect steps out of the car and starts heading towards my sister after about three minutes of being out of the car. Yeah, I didn't write that in the report, but I gave you guys a general rundown. A report with like seven or eight lines is more like a paragraph. I can't write everything I need to right then and there all the time. You know, like you guys expect me to write everything in seven to eight, maybe ten lines. And that's maybe a paragraph and a half, maybe, at most. My paragraphs are like nine lines, you know, so, but I just, I hope this all gets sorted out with the Utah Police Department. I hope they sort their stuff out and get everything fixed. Again, the officers on the scene tonight did a great job with defusing. I'm just a good Samaritan. Apparently, I know nothing about law. Quotation marks. <laughs> Freaking legal system shit, but it's America. What can you What can you expect? I love America. I'm a huge John. Pa I'm a huge, huge patriot. Unfortunately, me and the officer didn't see eye to eye. So you know what? You guys take care. I'm going to get some sleep. It's 11.37 p.m. my time right now. You guys take care. Like, share, subscribe. I just thought I'd update you guys on how everything's going. Like, share, subscribe. You know, hit that notification bell in the bottom right corner. Right next to the subscribe. Little bell. And, um... Yeah, until next time, I'll come up with something uh, cool for the channel. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright. Give me your guys' ideas in the comments below. Take care. Have a good night. Be safe. Respect your fellow officers. And everyone, start respecting your public. And just stay out of trouble. Tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And, yeah. Don't get into an altercation with the officers. Um, take care. Peace out, everyone.